What is going on, coders? Welcome to another After Dark Pulls and Hauls. We're going to be showing off what we got during the week, whether that's from our pull list or just what we bought this week. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as I am. And if you guys like this content, hit that like button and maybe share it. Remember, subscribe, definitely. But with that being said, with me as always, we have the one, the only, the tooth fairy, I mean slab fair. I mean slab guy himself, Sal Rowe. Sales, tell everybody where they can find you when you're not here on Code X. All right, guys, you can always find me on YouTube under Sal's Comic Corner, or you can find me under Instagram as the Slab Guy seventy seven. <laughs> Hashtag Slab Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we got Guys. the one, the only, the great and talented himself, Dan Kelly. Dan, where can they find you, buddy? And what do you got going on? You can find me on Instagram at Dan Kelly Art. Post art, music, and writing on there. And since I just hit 600 followers, I am running a contest to give a free commission out, whether you want a song or you want some art. So go check it out. Uh, there's a pin post at the top of my page. All you have to do is go on it and leave a comment, and you'll be entered, and I will be drawing the winner randomly on Wednesday what month are we in? May. <laughs> yeah, remember, it's going to be May. Wednesday, May 24th. So uh, go check it out. And then we got this guy up here. In the blue For some light. reason, you did that. And I all I can think of was, uh, what do you call it, Ricky Bobby, where he's like, what do I do with my hands? I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> you keep them at your side. But no, as always, guys, go check out the codexstation.com. It's your one stop shop for everything codex. Get some merch, meet the team, let us know what you like, don't like. And at the very bottom, there's our links to every social we have. So there's no reason for you not to miss out on what we're putting out for you. More stuff coming to the website as well. I was going to say, Dan's sporting some merch right now. Yeah, it's weird that Dan's the one the rest of us don't have any on. That's a very, Mine's in the wash. Very in the wash. And lastly, guys, we do have patreon so definitely go check that out too just for a cheap cup of coffee you can help the little podcast that could and there's two different tiers it helps us out tremendously uh for three dollars you get exclusive content that no one else is going to get and if you join the seven dollar tier there is so so much more so scan that little qr code that is right there in the corner and check it out and if you guys help out we love you more for it so thank you ahead of time but you guys ready to show off some of the stuff we got this week? Yes. I know I it. am. Yes, sir. All right. right. We're going to start off with Dan the man himself. All right. So are we starting uh, DC, Marvel? Whatever, you, whatever order you want to go. I'm not Tim. I have no structure. All right. Well, since Tim's not here, <laughs> I'm going to kill the structure and go Marvel first. Oh, God. I have to reorganize my books now. <laughs> Jeez. Dan's just throwing a wrench in everyone's plans. Jeez. Yeah, Mine are going to be all over the place, so don't, don't worry. <laughs> all right, so I'll start off with Avengers number one. Uh, picked it up just because I uh, wasn't going to, but Kevin was talking about how good it was, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And um, uh, First issue was decent. A good setup for what's to come. Well, Jeb McKay, anything he's been on has been amazing itself. Yeah, yeah, so... um. It's a it's a good starting off point where you see her build the team. Um, then I got the Fantastic Four. Nice, which has been good. I got a question for you, Dan. I got a question for you. Yeah, do you feel like do you feel like the people who don't usually collect Avengers that this is a good jumping on point? Um, it. I didn't read the last Avengers series. I picked up like the first five or six issues, and then you know just. Money wise, I had to cut back on books, so right, that was right. one of the ones. So in this, it does reference some stuff that happened previously. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't, I, I was, I only had a cursory knowledge of it, but I still kind of understood what was going on. So I'd say it, it probably is. Okay, um, it's it's a good, you know, you could see the the new main team on the front here, so it's a it's a decent mix for the lineup. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I also got She Hulk number thirteen. I like that cover. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's been a super fun book. Uh, I've got Captain America number twelve, which is yeah. the 
part three of this Cold War uh, crossover they have going on with him in the uh, Sam Wilson Captain America book. And then Hulk Annual Number One, which closes out ah. the uh, yeah, it's a cool cover. It closes closes out the um, the Hulk series that uh, was just running before they relaunch it again. Hulk stub toe, <laughs> Hulk angry. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I got for Marvel. All right, cool. Well, do we, will we go right into my Marvel then, or are we gonna just circle through? We just circle through, Dan. Go ahead and show the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I got one indie book I got for Dark Horse, um, Order and Outrage, number three. Ooh, nice. Which has been a, uh, it's been a decent series. It's only a four-part series, so next month will be the last issue. Uh, yeah, Superboy, number two. Okay. Uh, I believe it's a six-issue miniseries. Uh, uh, Superman, number four. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's been a cool series so far. Uh, the one that would be my pick of the week, the one I was most looking forward to, Titans yes. number one. Uh, it's a cool starting off point, and you see who the main Titans team is going to be on the cover. Uh, but there is another well-known Titans member that they approach in it to join the team who doesn't but kind of – kind of teases something that I'm guessing is going to be a future storyline. So that was pretty cool. I also got the uh, sketch cover for it. So I'm going to draw something on that. Just not a hundred percent decided on what. Well, whatever you draw on it, I will get. Draw RoboCop. You got it. I, I was actually thinking about. Uh, we'll, we'll talk price afterwards, but I got an I idea would, if you want to hear it. Yeah. Let me know. Cause what I was thinking about was doing the cover to. The new Teen Titans number one, the the Wolfman Perez one. Mm -hmm. so it's the same team in it, but drawing the current versions of them, but in like the same kind of pose that yeah. they were in then. Yeah. What were you thinking? All right, we'll, we'll talk after the show. I got an idea. I want to throw okay. it at you. Uh -oh. my, my crazy mind never stops if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> well, I got the Superboy blank for his first issue too. So if you got an idea for that, let me know because I have no idea. I just really like Superboy, so I picked it up. And the last one I got, uh, Flash seven ninety nine, and then eight. Which made our top five comics of the week. If you guys haven't checked that out, and it. it was a pretty fun book. So, and eight hundred comes out next month, and then they're relaunching it with a number one. Which I'll definitely be picking up because I oh. fell off and Flash at like seven fifty. All it's right, series. Sal, you ready, bud? Yeah, so, all right. I'm set. I'm set. All right, so a lot of mine are a little bit of repeats on Dan, but I also got the Avengers, but I got the alternate cover. Right. Nice. Right there. There you go. That's the money spot. That's the money spot right there. <laughs> I got uh, Extreme, Extreme Venomverse with all the Venoms on there. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't care what Sonny ever has to say. That Venomverse series has my yeah. heart. Uh, I got my X-Men 22 with Mo Doc there on the front. It's Mo Doc Cotton, a favorite a few team. Ago. Yeah. We got favorite. Iron Man. I, I'm sorry. I am Iron Man in a samurai armor. Oh. That's cool. I haven't read this yet, but that's they're introducing a samurai armor there. Are those flaming swords? They are flaming they're, swords. They're, they're lightsabers, but they can't call them that. Oh, that's cool. Well, they can. They own Disney. Disney I know. Yeah. Yeah, they could say that. So I got Invisible Iron Man number four, I believe this is number four. Nope. Sorry. Six. Number six. Go a little bit over, Sal. So. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, Wonder Man playing? Get... What's that? Is that Wonder Man? It looks like Wonder Man and Hawkeye in the background. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's awesome. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I got my usual Wolverine thir with 33. <clears throat> He's fighting uh, Beast again. Uh, got my X-Men Red, number 11. That's a badass storm cover, that, if you ask me. That's that cool is. Summer. Whatever week we do storm for comic character of the week, that might have to make your top three covers. It might. It might. So I got uh, Venom 19, which I have read this one, which is pretty good. 
Have you read the other 374 issues that of the same one that you got? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. No, he already sent those off to CGC. I've already seen your claims on Heroes Corner Comics. I'll take two of those bundles. I'll take the one in ten here. Yeah, I, I that, that was another guy. That wasn't me. Yeah, that was mistaken. another slab guy. You're mistaken. You're mistaken. I wish. You're mistaken. All right. Uh, for my last Marvel book, I got Tim's favorite. <laughs> Ooh, boy. And I have read this. So they finally explained the whole uh, issue with Mary Jane and the kids, which you, if you don't know by this point, you would have to figure it out by reading all these issues. They've dragged it out so long that, you know, you could have guessed it by now. So, anyhow. I still haven't guessed Tim, it. I got to read it. Really? I so you haven't read you haven't read it. You're killing me. I'm 136 <laughs> issues back right now, so I'm catching up. I just okay. finished Berserker. <laughs> I've, I've got to catch up um since I stopped reading it after one more day. So that's a lot to catch up on. Yeah, it's a yeah. lot. So so to sum it up, Spider-Man fights some guys, he gets hurt, he cries a lot, and then he gets back on the horse and he fights some more. It's a go. normal issue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for my Marvel. And my one DC uh, pick is also Dawn of the Titans. It's, that was really good. So I have not read this yet, but I'm I'm, a, well, I'm excited to read this one because I've heard a lot of the good hype from you guys. Um, and the uh, secret character that you're alluding to, it, it's me. Oh. Sorry, to blow, sorry to blow it for you guys, but yeah, it's me. It's me. He's doing his I'm own solo on, thing later. I'm gonna be on the Titans. So hashtag spoiler alert. Hashtag <laughs> the slab that's, fairy makes his appearance. That's right. Like He's gonna get himself CGC'd. You know, speaking of that, I'm disappointed that you, being the slab guy, that you don't have all of your pulls already slabbed and on your wall every week when you show them off. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's <laughs> a lot. Of, that's a lot of cash, man. You're I got hit the lottery. <laughs> You're okay. If I, if I hit the lottery, there'll be signs. <laughs> when, when did the room get bigger? Why are there 375 <laughs> slabs behind the sale and they're all venom? <laughs> Again, I don't know what you're talking about. I bought maybe two copies. Come on, guys. That's all my pools for this week, guys. David, right. what do you got for us? So, since I can't, couldn't make it this week to the shop, I figured I would just show you guys what I got from my comic hub, um, which has been great, by the way. If you guys don't have it at your L, uh, LCS, comic hub kind of just makes it easier for your LCS and yourself to pick out what books you want to subscribe to, everything else, too. So, definitely, if you get a chance, go check out comic hub. But... I'm going to show you on screen what I got in my cart this week. And it's going to start off. It's all unorganized. So deal with it. Um, don't at me. Uh, Miles Morales 6. Yeah, the second cool. part of Carnage Reigns, I think, with the summer Two symbiotes seven. and everything going yeah. on. it, it just, I mean, look at the cover. It just looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Next up, I have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 108. Now, there's going to be a big epic event coming up here in the next couple months with the Power Rangers, and this epic. is just going to lead into it. Can't wait. Can't really say what it is unless you go to Boom Studios and check out their stuff themselves. But it's going to uh, be epic. It is. Um, next oh, we up, got a guest we, visitor. Hey! She jumped in right underneath the panel. Look at yep. that. Next up, House of Slaughter, number 15. This oh, that's book, a great cover. I know. This book, though, the series was hard to chew on at the beginning, but I'm loving it more and more every issue that comes out. Different story arcs for different characters, and now we're bringing back another character that needed a redemption arc, and they're getting it right now. It's me. Spoiler alert. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Every book. <laughs> right. So this is my cover. This is the B cover for Titans that I got. Oh, that's nice. Old. And Your shop one. didn't have that, did it? No, I didn't see that. I, I I may have had to pick that copy up too if they had it. Yeah. So for you know, those Dan, that, we got to, yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say for those who don't know, in this series, the Justice League is gone after aftermath of everything that happened in Dark Crisis. Um, mm -hmm. and the Titans are taking over. So I'm very, very excited for what the series is gonna have. Go ahead, what were you gonna say, Sal? I think Dan and I need to change the day we go to the shop. I think we still gotta start hitting the Wednesdays. Cause usually we go on Fridays and by then any good alternate covers are probably gone. Yeah. They that's why, so that's why I love Comic Hub because I'll just message them and be like, put me down for all the B variants. And they're like, okay. 
They were uh, they were actually on Friday. They were sold out of the Amazing Spider-Man book, the new yeah. one. Sal got it because he had it in his box, but they had no yep. copies left up on the shelf. No way. Oh well, here's my B cover for Superman number four. Nice. Which Williamson amazing at what he does, and that's a cool cover. Helming Superman makes the most sense out of anything. Next up, like the rest of the guys got, I got Avengers. Number one, um, back to what you were saying earlier, Sal, if it's a good jumping on point, I think so. Um, especially, it, it does cover some of what happened in the last series, but whole new roster, whole new team, different uh, angle on it. And with Jed McKay, like him on Moon Knight, Black Hat, everything like that has been phenomenal, and I don't expect any less for this. Cool. All right, next up we have the B cover for Black Adam number 11. Oh, yeah, I saw oh, that. That's cool. uh, this is that and the White that's Adam cool. as well. Um, going at it, this is actually a 12 issue series, and we're on issue 11, so there's one more issue after this, and then we're done. Um, but I think this has been great. It, it's been showing a different story arc for Black Adam. There, he had a Basically, a beatdown brawl with Batman, which has a twist to it, which was am- I thought was awesome. And overall, like, I think Black Adam had this is a second solo series, and for it being a second, I really want a fifty issue ongoing with this. Like, it, I wish it was more. I wish they did what they did with Poison Ivy and just been like, it's not going to be a twelve. It's going to be forever. Um, Hulk annual number one. Ah, Hulk stub toe. Ah. <laughs> no Lego on floor for Hulk. That's but yeah, still, I like that cover though. I, I think I'll have to pick that up if I see it. Yes, and Gary Gary Frank just does phenomenal cover work. Yeah. Well, with especially with the Hulk and how short the series was, regardless of what was going on with Kate's at the time, I thought it had a lot of potential. I thought it had yeah. a lot more than what it was given at the end. Um, I'm excited to see what the next series is going to bring. Because I haven't read Hulk since like Indestructible Hulk, so it's been, God, ten years since Has I've it read. Been out ten years since Indestructible Hulk. I have to it's been a that. while. Yeah. Well, you're looking that up. My last one uh, is Hulk one of sales for like four years. Yeah, one of sales favorites that he has 380 something copies <laughs> of, but that's Venom number 19. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, you know what? You know what I didn't know what you were talking about, Sale? And I'll make it right. really easy for you. Is the fact that you kept getting the Gold Goblin issues and uh, ha- uh, Hollow's Eve. I never understood it until I finally read Dark Web. And I'm like, wow, these characters are actually awesome. Like, yeah, I didn't yeah. think about that. And then seeing them in like the books now, I'm like, oh my God, I should have picked that up. Like, I really thought they did a good job with Chasm. You know, yeah. I really thought they did good with him. Yeah, and just, even name change, like, it was just, like, too good. I was just like, oh, my God. I'm like, I I, I had no words at the end. I, I thought it was fantastic. I think it's better than what we're doing with Spider-Man now. <laughs> I well, we don't we, want to take away from Tim's favorite, you know. Yeah. I hope we keep the villain turn with him for a while because it would be disappointing it's like hey here's this whole kind of new identity here's this really cool new costume we're going to do this big Mm storyline and then like six months later oh we're we're just going to put him back where he was like if you're going to put him like this you know we see all the time villains kind of turning either turning into good guys or at least kind of being you know somewhat ambiguous uh, where they're not like straight up evil anymore, but you rarely see a hero turn into a villain and then it actually lasts for a significant amount of time. Right. No. Well, actually, that's a good point, and I think we can kind of gauge off that for a second here. Now, when it comes to collecting for you guys, is there one <clears throat> series character or writer that no matter what they come out with, you'll pick it up no matter how bad it is? Hmm. Um, like for me, I know if there's a Green Lantern series because we kind of touched on this last week a little bit, but not too much. Like, I did not like the uh Morrison run on Lantern, I still got him because of the fact that it was yeah. Green Lantern and that's my guy, right? But 
is there is it like that with you guys is there a certain writer a certain character a certain series that you guys will be even if it's horrible you'll still get and be like well uh, it'll get better well For I, me, i'm gonna say go ahead no, go, go ahead, ahead. No, you go first i, I was gonna say i th there's always been several <laughs> that i just don't like or i don't like the stories but i'm not gonna really condemn the writer because sometimes they have excellent stories and mm -hmm. other there's you know another character or maybe down the road maybe it's just something that just happened that just didn't like how the story was going so for me it's it's spider-man and green lantern i will always collect those and even venom i, I will always collect those no matter how bad the story gets you know okay. if it's if I like even if it's like absolute garbage like the spider-man um clone saga that was hot garbage you know and i still read it and so i still collect it but what's that I said it could have been so good too if they just kept it to the one narrow storyline it was intended to be. Yeah, very true. Very true. So I, I can't really say there's one particular writer or that's I'm gonna say, oh, I can't stand this guy, but it's not, it doesn't matter to me. If those if it's any of those three characters, I will still get that book no matter how bad yeah. it gets. Okay. <clears throat> Dan, you got any? How about you? Yeah. Um, for me, if it's a writer, I'm less inclined to stay with it if it's not good. But I, I really can't think of that many instances where I bought a book just because of the writer. Where I went, oh, I don't, I don't like this. Generally, if it's a writer where I'm, where I'm buying it for just because they're on it, like that has to be like a really special writer for me to do that. Um, I mean, sometimes there'll be mini series that are like five or six issues and, you know, by issue three, I'm like, oh, I really don't like this, but, you know, whatever, I'll get the last two issues just so it's complete. For a character, for me, for the character, I would say uh, the Steve Rogers, Captain America, because that's my favorite character. Right. Because I've really been digging the, the ser this current series. The writing's been good. The artwork has been the best Cap artwork in... I mean, God, I can't even, in years, it's been mm -hmm. fantastic. And the last series by, um, I, I can never pronounce the guy's full name right, by Coates. Um, I really didn't like the direction of that. I felt like Cap was almost. Um, oh, Ten uh, Tanakashi. Tanishi. Yeah. I, I, I don't Tanahashi like. Tanahashi Coates. Yeah, I don't like saying names, mispronouncing names. Um so I don't want to insult anyone and mispronounce it. But, yeah, I really didn't like the direction of it. Cap almost felt like a supporting character in his own book a lot. Um, mm, and the okay, artwork wasn't right. great. But, again, I was buying it because Cap's my favorite character. And then, you know, we go back to Hydra Cap. And, I mean, that storyline was just a slap in the face for... I actually Earth. like Secret Empire. It was a... It was a... It was an interesting concept. It was a good concept, but I think they waited too long to introduce to be like, oh, this, you know, this is what happened because they just played it like for the longest time, like, oh, th yeah, this is really what he's been like the whole time. Yeah, so I think they waited too long, too long for the reveal. But again, even that, I was like, it's Steve, and I kept reading it, thinking like they're not going to make this a new status quo. Like they've got to change it back. And they, you know, and they did, but that was, a, that was another series. I'm like, I'm not really digging this, but it is cap. So, you know, we'll see. And it was iconic when it had like the real Steve Rogers come back and take on, <clears throat> I don't know, Nazi Steve. Well, my did... favorite, speaking of that, my favorite thing about that whole series is there's a tie in with Deadpool. And Deadpool went to go visit him, and it, Deadpool's like, "Oh, you're not really Steve Rogers, so I'm gonna call you Steve-el. <laughs> and, and that guy's still kicking around. He, they haven't done anything with him in a little bit, but he's, he's he'll not make a there. comeback. He's still somewhere for whenever anyone wants to use him. Yeah. Well, here, here's my reasoning for asking this: because when Tom King took over for Batman, okay, Tom King put out a lot of great books beforehand, and I, I defended him so much on Batman on all the choices because some of them weren't his, um, especially the death of Alfred spoiler. Um, if no one's read that in, I don't know, three years, but I, I defended it. And then he came out with Rorschach 
And that was a pile that I've never seen. And then it was um, the human target. And I was like, oh, come on, man. What are you doing to me? I'm trying. And then it was like (laughs) everything else he's done. I'm like, okay, I can't defend you anymore. I can't keep you up there on the pedestal. Like, there's no way. But the two that I will always go to, if they're putting out a book, I'm grabbing it. And that's Kate's 100%. And, yeah, I gotta agree with that. And Jeff Johns, as soon as there's a book, I don't care if it takes three months for one issue to come out, I'm still getting it. I'll read it collectively when it's all said and done. Because I made the mistake with Doomsday Clock. I was reading them as they came out, so it took like three years for me to read it. And then I have to go back and read it as a collection. And then as a collected uh series, it was amazing. Reading every three months kind of sucked because of the fact that you forgot a lot of stuff, so you had to go back and but if there's what happened that last issue? <laughs> yeah, why? Are you, are you why the books he did? He's been doing with Gary Frank, the Geiger, and Junkyard Joe. I've been looking at him. I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and read the full series, but I read the first issues. Um, and then as for characters, if we're going, oh well, one more notable oh, honorable mention for writers is Kyle Higgins. Uh, anything that guy's been putting out has been fantastic. Because that's the whole Radiant Universe, too, for Image. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Radiant Universe, yep. Or Supermassive. Let me apologize for that one. But uh, Mm -hmm. for two characters that I I would say that I could ever put down, one would be Green Lantern. Doesn't matter what Green Lantern. I'll even take Jon Stewart. Um, And then Moon Knight. Yeah. I've never missed a Moon Knight issue since I've had the chance. And Kevin jumped in and he put his two cents and he said, Neil Gaiman. This is what. I was gonna say I'll save this for Kate. So I'll at this point I'll pick up whatever he puts out, and I'm interested to see what he does next because it. I, I think it's clear that Hulk and Thor, you know, which are both getting ready to relaunch, that I don't think that they were that Marvel had that in the pipeline, you know, until he had you know his personal issues with his you know now ex wife and 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 whatever, but. Because he had been quoted as saying, like, I'll write Thor forever. Like, I've got so many story ideas. Oh, yeah. You don't have to, like, drag me off of it. I love this book. And, like, now it's ending going another direction. Same thing with Hulk. So I it'd be interesting to peek into the alternate universe where he stayed on those books and you got to see, you know, his full vision play out, especially right. with Thor. And the, the biggest thing with that is, he wrote a book called Crossover where he literally put himself in there yeah. as one of the main characters. <laughs> what writer has the the ego? I was going to use a different word there. I stopped myself. But has the ego to put themselves in a book and make himself like go up against Negan from The Walking Dead and just fight to the death. Like, didn't, he kill, didn't he also kill himself in the book too? No spoilers. Yes. Um, yeah, the book came out like a year ago. I know. But then it was supposed to be, uh, he's like, the real reason for all this happening is uh, Jeff Shaw. Yeah. And they were like, stay tuned for a crossover, Jeff Shaw. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Jeff Shaw's going to be in his own book now. But, yeah, I, I think a lot of people, at least for me, when I started, and that's the whole reason I brought it up, is collecting-wise, like, once it's on my pools, I can't take it off. Like, if it gets bad, I always think that, Cause I've had it happen a couple times where it got so bad. I stopped it. And then the next story arc was, Oh my God, this is the best story arc of all time. If you're missing out on this, it's horrible for you. And then you go to get it. And now you can't get it on anything on eBay for less than a hundred dollars. Right. You know? So I always keep going. And once I make the commitment, I'm, I'm sold. I'm there. Right. So, but as for that, I think that's a great stopping point. Unless you guys got anything else you guys want to talk about on tonight's episode, or I, oh, I'm good. You good? All yeah. right. Uh, it was a good week for books. Yeah, it was, it was a good definitely. week for books. Definitely. Next week is shaping up to be, to me, I don't know. It might be a little bit better. Let me just double check for myself here. Yeah, next week's just as good. So I can't wait for that. But. Guys, again, if you like the content that we're putting out for you, make sure you hit that like button as many times as possible. Share it and subscribe if you can. And again, with me as always is the slab guy himself. Sal, why don't you take us out and let us know where we can find you when you're not here. All right. When I'm not on Codex, you can always find me on YouTube under Sal's Comic Corner. 
as you can see. And I'm also on Instagram as the slab guy 77. All right. And, and got this guy down here, the great talented Dan, what do you got for us, bud? And what you got going on? Yep. Check me out on Instagram at Dan Kelly art. Uh, like I said, at the top of the show, I'm running a contest to get a free commission or a free song, whatever you want for hitting 600 followers. I'm actually, at, uh, when I checked earlier today, I'm at 606. So still going, which is nice. Yeah. So just go check out the pinned, uh, post at the top of my page and just leave a comment to enter and you could win something cool. So thank, thank you to everyone that is a follower and that likes what I put up and that comments on it um, and that shares it, you know, it, it means the world to me. Um, I never would have thought I would have had 600 people that gave a crap about, you know, what songs I had to play and, and what pictures I had to draw. So thank you for your support. Um, it really means a lot. Just like with this codex station. I mean, you know, it means a lot to us that you subscribe, that you buy the shirts, that you, watch the videos and everything you know we like jamie always says we do it all for you so thank you all so much and then um yeah we got the boss up there it's gonna take us out yeah and guys if you want the energy that we have during these shows there's one place you have to check out and that is w energy to find them just go to w.ggs.com or w.gg and save yourself 10 percent using the code word code x that's c-o-d hyphen x at checkout Definitely go check them out. Everything they have is totally different from the fact that if you get a monster, you have that jitter and that crash afterwards. This has no crash, no jitters, no after bad aftertaste. Definitely go check them out. The teams all had it, and we are raving about it, except for Dan. He's the god man out on the dragon. Was it dragon fruit? Dragon yeah, Aid. I love dragon Aid. one, and I'm just uh, I'm really debating on which which flavor to buy next. Yeah, it, it's a hard decision because they now have quite a few. So yeah, definitely like go check them out. I'm debating on to get because they all sound really good. Yeah, and save that 10% at checkout. And lastly, guys, if you guys haven't, you guys heard all these, any of these books that we've shown today, go check out heroescornercomics.com. Use the keyword codex, that's C-O-D-E-X, no hyphen, and save yourself 20%. And Sal, can you tell them what they can get with this awesome offer? Well, they can get a lot of things. They can get back issues. They can get slabs. They can get store exclusive books. Uh, they can even set up a pool list. Uh, and if you act right now, right now, they've got a Codex bundle, which is three exclusive Hero Corner Comics uh, books for $30. And yes, the coupon code will work for that too. Yes, they have awesome deals and they do awesome work. The packaging's amazing. Go watch one of the sales videos on his channel and it, they just non-stop it's perfect every single every time every single time so guys to lead this out and let you know one more time go check out the codexstation.com your one-stop shop for everything codex get some merch meet the team let us know what you like don't like and at the bottom are all of our socials listed so that way you can't miss out on any of the content that we are providing for you because like i always say we do this for you and we do this because we love it so thank you once again for joining us today and be kind out there you never know what anyone's going through or what battle they're fighting and making someone smile can change the course of their day or life so always be kind and stay tuned for our next episode so we will see you in the next one